How do you wear a purple suit without looking like a clown? Well, it's not actually that difficult. Purple is a gallant and sophisticated colour that stands out without shouting. Purple has for centuries been the colour of leadership and authority. It can also single out a man as a strong individual that is very comfortable with his identity. In this video we're doing something a little different as we'll be looking at movie stars wearing burgundy and purple suits on and off camera. So while I wouldn't recommend purple for a first suit, presuming you have your blue suits and your grey suits sorted, you may even have a brown suit. You may want to do something different for your next suit and a purple suit might be just right for you. Welcome back to For the Love of Suits where we find inspiration from the best dressed men on the screen. So colour can be very subjective. Myself and my wife can't even agree on the colour of our suitcase. She swears to me it's green and I know it's blue. So is it purple or is it burgundy? I call this my purple suit. Some people might say it's burgundy. Burgundy has a little more red in it. Purple has a little more blue in it. Sometimes the lines blur. So for the sake of this video, the words purple and burgundy will be interchangeable. So let's take a look at some gentlemen in purple suits that are sure to inspire. Ryan Gosling is frequently a great dresser and in the movie Crazy Stupid Love, the very reason behind his character is to show how to dress well. And in this introductory scene in a bar, he is wearing a fabulous purple suit with a simple white shirt. Although that combination is quite high contrast. In the bar scene in the movie, it is dark enough to work well. Although you can wear purple suits almost anywhere, unfortunately movies too often present them only in bars and clubs. In the movie Tenet, the main character, literally known as the protagonist, wears a hot weather classic, a knit polo with his suit. It's a great way to look sharp in hot weather without sweating too much. Having lived in Shanghai for 20 years, I can vouch for it over a long sleeve shirt in the heat. It makes a big difference. He has matched his shirt colour with the suit for a smooth unified look that works well in this setting. It makes for a great dinner party outfit. If you like the idea of a purple suit but are afraid to go full Monty, then think about a sports coat. In the movie The Gentleman, Matthew McConaughey wears a striking purple on purple sports coat with a dark check running through it. He wears an almost matching shirt beneath it so it stands out slightly but still blends in. In Phone Booth, Colin Farrell flips the classic look and wears a black suit with a purple shirt. It's another way to bring purple into your wardrobe but not to be too outstanding. The black suit tones down the otherwise outstanding colour of the shirt. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button. It helps bring this video to the attention of other menswear enthusiasts. Thank you. And let's not forget the legend himself, Ron Burgundy. A man who had the commitment to name himself after his suit. He goes for a more formal traditional look with a white shirt and a striped necktie. But the traditional approach to the accessories with such a striking colour suit does not work well for me. And I think you will look like an anchorman with this shirt and tie no matter what. I'm really pleased with the small growing community we have here, especially the polite and informative comments section. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll be able to keep the videos coming. While not a movie star, definitely a sartorial star. One of my favourite Savile Row tailors is Oswald Boateng OBE. And I was greatly inspired by how cool he looked in this interview from a few years ago. The fabrics in his store are complex with amazingly rich textures and layers of colour. Too rich for me, unfortunately, though far from the most expensive on the row. It's well worth a look if you were ever in London. He has gone full monochrome with a perfectly matching shirt. Purple works very well as a monochrome look as long as it's not too bright. Even off screen, many stars like to wear purple. Chris Evans looks great in this publicity portrait. A burgundy tux with a peak lapel shouldn't work with the t-shirt, but I think he wears it well. Here on the red carpet in what I suspect is the same suit with a white shirt and bow tie showing how versatile it is. Though the fabric looks a bit different in these photos, I believe it's the same suit in very different lighting. Chris Pine, another actor that doesn't seem to know the rule about not wearing separates that are almost the same colour but not quite. But ignoring that, he looks great and relaxed in this light purple shirt. And finally Tom Hiddleston, in a double breasted version with a subtle pocket square. Excellent touch. Now I would not normally recommend a black shirt for classic men's wear. It's a very inflexible colour, it doesn't work like a black t-shirt does. It matches very few suits, but a burgundy or purple suit is one of those occasions when it will work well. The secret is to get a dark burgundy or dark purple suit. It is much easier to match shirts to a dark colour than a light colour. Convinced? Which of these suits are your favourite or do you not like any of them? I look forward to hearing your opinions in the comments section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.